Evening YouTubers. So, I've got a little bit of a uh, present for you here. Uh, Anbox. I first came across this when I went to uh, Google.com. I usually use uh, Google.com for my news. I know it's not uh, completely unbiased, but I do use it for that. And uh, let's have a look. I looked up uh, Linux. Okay, I was going to do plus Linux, and I uh, do hype about that, but uh, nonetheless, it's worth noting what I was looking for. Um, and uh, look, it's uh, it came up here as an article. You can see a couple of these. I'll probably provide those links in the comment section just down below here. But um, yeah, nonetheless, Anbox is an interesting one. It's um, it's uh, basically a means by uh, seamlessly running uh, Android applications on uh, GNU Plus Linux PCs. You can even see if you go back to the website, they are very specific. GNU slash Linux operating system. So, um, and there's a bit of a, a video on their demo of what's going on. Um, yeah, and obviously the advertising blur. Uh, it uses Snap, uh, so Snap packages as its uh, approach to uh, a reliable install. Uh, you can see there's just the installer there. That doesn't actually achieve too much except for getting the necessary files uh, to install the installer. <laughs> and then, uh, yes, then you need to actually um, run the installer which goes and grabs the images and uh, that sort of thing um, so uh, without any further ado let's have a bit of a demo of, uh, of how this goes so I'll just minimize this screen now and uh, first you're going to need a terminal okay so um, now okay and uh, not inbox installer let's have a look inbox I'm not completely uh, au fait with all the uh, the commands yet but uh, you need to run Session Manager, I've noticed. Okay, so that's not going to give you any warnings or uh, any of that alike, but um, and it's not entirely in, uh, intuitive about what to do next. I mean, if I... Now, admittedly, I've been installing things and they probably work now, but if I go in box, I get nothing there. So what I did uh, was I did a bit of a, f a, a fish around. I'm not going to take you through the torture of that, but... Uh, Basically, it goes under here, and I'm not used to Snap Packages. I've used um, Flatpak before, uh, which you'll find on the Fedora or Red Hat based distributions. But Snap's becoming increasingly popular, and uh, you, it's you know you're finding it um, increasingly on uh, other distributions. So I hear, though I just haven't come across it too much. So uh, we're going to Snap um, and Box. We don't want to install a bit. We're going to Common. App data and applications and box finally and you'll see that uh, I've installed a few bits and bobs in here but just to give you a bit of an idea let's just take a, a look at now some of these are just um, PNG files uh, but we'll uh, actually hit the applications themselves so calculator just as an example a calculator comes up very nicely and uh, sure sure enough I can do a calculation on there uh, so we can do for example 60 well not that until I didn't rehearse that one. Um, we just put sign 60 and close the bracket. And uh, there's your answer there. For example, we're in radians, of course, so you get a uh, answer other than what you might uh, normally expect. Um, so that's that. Uh, I did install a terminal emulator, but first of all, I should probably uh, note that I installed F-Droid. I wanted a means to easily get applications in there, and that's probably another uh, another point to mention is that uh, if you're going to uh, want to install applications, which I presume that's what you're going to do with a uh, vanilla install of Android, um, uh, you're going to need to install applications. Now the installer doesn't really natively work. What you're going to need to do is use ADB install. So you go and find your, your package from somewhere. Um, like for example, I went to the WhatsApp page and, um, and I found uh, that they were offering an APK. So I downloaded the APK, ADB install. As long as you're running that session, like I pointed out before, this session, session manager, uh, you should have no drama whatsoever with installing, except that dependencies weren't met. Now I tried to install the, um, the open uh, G apps. Um, as you can probably tell, I've tried doing that, um, but I had no real luck doing that. It seems to stall. Now this, uh, that's uh, another point that I should raise at this, uh, uh, at this point in the uh, video, no pun intended, I guess, um, and that is that um, that it, this software um, is only in a sort of pre-alpha state. 
Um, so although it seems pretty functional to me, it's not going to run perfectly. So let's move on. Um, for example, I can have the terminal emulator run and um, that's fine. Also, okay, it's worth noting that if I, and I'll just pull up another terminal while I'm at it, I can actually ADB shell. I've got no, um, I've got no real ADB devices connected at the moment uh, to this machine. My ADB shell and it'll act as though I've got uh, got the real deal on here. I'll go storage and oh, actually, I don't want to go there. Look, frankly, I'm not that familiar with the. Well, I am familiar with Android, but I'm not always going to do everything efficiently. You see, um, but uh, if I go, you can see here. See, downloads, for example, and there are a whole bunch of things I've tried to muck around with there. So, um, yeah, you can do that. One of my favorite applications to run on uh, Android, which is not available um, uh, on uh, GNU plus Linux, is Droidfish. Now, uh, it's Engine Stockfish. It's a chess program. It's uh, Engine Stockfish is certainly available. It uh, compiles nicely on GNU plus Linux, uh, amongst other Unix-like systems, and, and also does install on Windows if you want it. But it's just an engine normally. No uh, GUI or anything like that, unless you're on OS X, which I believe it provides one, or iOS, and it provides a GUI. But um, that's for Stockfish itself. For Droidfish, well, Droidfish is another kettle of fish. No pun intended either. So, um, yeah, you just uh, double click on that, and there we go. We've got Droidfish. You can see a game I tried to play there. I'm actually uh, losing in that game. I'm playing against the engine, so not entirely uh, surprising there. It plays a little stronger than I do, of course. Um, but yeah, um, I noticed one thing that doesn't doesn't work. I did set the uh, I set an alarm earlier, one second alarm, to see if I could get sound working, and uh, indeed sound did not work. Of course, I haven't got a loop back on the uh, on Alsa anyway, so you wouldn't hear it anyway. But I can just assure you now that uh, sound is not working there. So um, why would anyone use this? As you can see, it's working reasonably well, but why would anyone use this? I suppose it's really for uh, app development. If you were uh, writing some uh, apps for uh, Android, um, it could be a bit of a hassle playing around with the emulator. Uh, not to mention that, I guess in the long run, this will all interact nicely with Mesa and all the hardware acceleration that you can accept at, sorry, expect. Um, now, I did notice that it, things run a little laggy on this at times. Uh, presumably, though, it does have some sort of hardware acceleration going on. It's not completely unusable. Um, it just lags down a little bit, and that's surprising for the machine that I have. And not to mention the fact that it's not emulation. It's a, uh, it's a compatibility layer running through LXC containers. Yes, LXC containers, which is, yeah, a, another means to kind of perform like a jail, like you'd expect on uh, FreeBSD. It's not virtualization per se. It still uses the uh, native Linux kernel rather than the Android custom Linux kernel. But uh, nonetheless, it's not entirely the same as a uh, complete uh, Android install. And I guess that's part of, like, part and parcel of the reason why they're saying it's an alpha state. They have to compensate for that in certain ways. I'm sure there are design limitations or little issues that crop up. But nonetheless, it is semi-nice. So, um, I've also managed to use WhatsApp, which was kind of uh, fun because I was able to see a friend of mine, uh, uh, the, uh, a picture of this hybrid situation with running Android apps, and he was, uh, I think, was a little bit impressed by it. Um, so yeah, uh, very nice. I think this uh, has quite a bit of a future. The other future that it might have is that uh, there are people who uh, really don't want to hop on their phone just to use a particular app. Uh, this has just given you a nice point and click way of approaching it. I mean, I can just go into Ghost Commander and uh, look at that. It, it's like I'm literally sitting there running a real Android session, which I am. I am running Android. It's just using the uh, Ubuntu Linux kernel at the moment. So uh, yeah. Um, that's uh, that's pretty much it for that, guys. If you'd like me to um, do uh, maybe a tutorial on how to do this, because it's not entirely mm, not entirely easily understood based on the instructions on the website, I kind of had to read between the lines a little bit. Uh, if you'd like me to do a uh, some sort of installation guide or some follow-up. Um, guide on installing applications. I'm more than happy to do that. Just leave that in the comments below and uh, and I'll make sure that I do that in the coming days or weeks. 
um, be it as that may that I do have uh, some other video ideas that I'd like to present to you. So uh, I will leave that there guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. It is a bit of a gift from the open source community. You can go and have a look at the source code on GitHub. Uh, I haven't looked at the source itself, but nonetheless I'm reliably informed that it is there. Uh, there is a little bit of a fact on the website taking us back. Let's go there. You can actually see there is a uh, there is some detail about getting started and all that kind of thing. There is a bit of a fact down here. So we'll leave that there. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. And the other thing too is if you really want to receive this content, this type of content, new and emerging things coming out in the GNU plus Linux land, you can have a look at my Sway video. That's um, pretty new stuff that's coming out along with the Wayland and that how that ties together and kind of replacing i3. Take a look at that kind of stuff. It's going to be handy for you and I'm going to provide these sorts of videos up and coming. So don't miss out on it. Press that subscribe button and uh, leave your comments below. Anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Have a good one. Good night.